Hello there, everybody. Right now, we are cross-examining Christoph Gavin. We need to figure out which statement to perceive at. And this is a little trick which I probably should have mentioned earlier. Whenever you have to perceive at a certain statement, you'll notice that the witness does a certain animation. You know, there's a certain animation the witness does which indicates that the witness is lying. And that's how you know you need to proceed. So obviously, it's not the holding the head back animation, because he's doing that twice. And if that was the I'm lying animation, then we'd have to perceive at two statements. But he's only telling one lie, and because he has the head forward animation twice too, it means it's not that one. No, the only unique animation is at this statement. This statement right here, the final statement. So that's your clue that you want to perceive at this statement. Ooh, he has evil looking eyes. Evil, maybe his eyes are going to flash. Wait, what's this? Ooh, he has a nasty scar too. Okay, his eyes aren't changing. But check out his hand. His hand is changing. Maybe you didn't notice that. Uh, let's do this again. What you want to do is perceive at his hand. Because when he mentions the father, his hand is going to change. I wonder where he got the scar on his hand. And what is that? Is that like some sort of skull? Very creepy. A little devil? That's supposed to be a devil? Dude, I thought that was a, a you know, skull-shaped scar. Yes, you gave him a poisoned lollipop! Well, no. Christoph, 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 have you not been paying attention? We have proven that the poisonous stamp was sent a long time ago. Seven years ago, in fact. Shortly before the trial in which Phoenix lost his lawyer's badge, in fact. So let's see, we need to present the poisonous stamp. found the stamp in his prison cell? Yeah, that's right, 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 right! We found the letter in his prison cell! So the stamp which killed him was used to send a letter to you, Kristoff. Do you have an explanation for this?
Okay, so it was a coincidence, but in the original letter, you didn't tell him to save the stamp. In the original letter, you told him to use the stamp right away. We're going to have to present the letter, right? Can't let him get away. Wait, what's this? Kristoff is turning on his brother Clavier? Yeah, I was saying it's a total coincidence. Yes, let's leave the bluffing to, uh, well, Hobo Phoenix, right? Because he loves playing poker. Motive. Motive. Okay, I've got your motive, buddy. You're the real client, right? He was the person who paid for the forged diary page in the trial of Magnifi Grammary. Really, really, Clavier, I'm getting kind of tired of you giving these huge penalties. Alright, so the motive is the piece of forged evidence, this piece right here, which was made by Drew Misham. should have proven that. They totally should have proven that before stealing Phoenix Wright's lawyer's badge. Okay, fine. Maybe he is a drunken hobo who is drunk on the prospect of victory. However, however, keep in mind, Christoph Gavin was supposed to be the lawyer for that case. The defendant switched attorneys at the last second.
Aha. Aha. Whoa, no, uh, 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 no, 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 no. He may be a drunken hobo, but he is not a killer. You know, if this is officially on record, why didn't somebody use this to prove that Phoenix is innocent? I mean, really, if this stuff was all on record, Phoenix could have used it to prove he was innocent. He didn't need to get fired. Oh, Phoenix. No, it is true, Clavier.